Hello everyone, so we will continue our PySpark tutorial and in this particular video we are going to solve one of the interview question which was asked in one of the company. So they have given uh, two questions. So that question we are going to understand and we are going to solve using a PySpark and Spark SQL. So the first question is like we had to flatten our data from one row to the multiple row. So they have given a scenario like this. So they have given a input, our input data looks like this. So we have a customer ID one and product purchase. So you can see this customer ID one, he has purchased the mobile PC and tab. Customer ID two, he has purchased the mobile and PC and customer ID three, he has purchased the tab and pen. What we have to do, we have to flatten this data. You can see this is the array form data, right? Now we have to flatten in a multiple row. So we want output like this. This is our output. So you can see a customer ID one and then mobile it is coming. Then customer ID one, he has also purchased the PC. Customer ID one, he has also purchased the tab. Customer ID two, he has purchased the mobile. Customer ID two, he has purchased the PC. Customer ID three, he has purchased the tab. Customer ID three, he has purchased the pen. Means uh, whatever it is coming in array form in a one row, we have to convert into a multiple row. Means we have to flatten the data. So that is the first question. So let's see how actually we can solve that. And uh, we have another question. We have to find out the device which is pinged or not. This is the second question. In the second question, what they are asking, they have given this input and they want an output like this. Means we have a customer ID and he is using a multiple device, device one, device two, device three. And uh, whether they are using a device or not, if they are using, then we are getting a value yes. If he is using device two, then the value we are getting yes. If he is not using, then we are getting a value null. Now what we have to find out, we have to create one new column and there we want the output like first not null value. So in this case, you can see what is the first not value, not null value. Yes, right. So we want the output. Yes. If it is a uh, suppose here we have a null and then yes is coming. Then also we want the output. Yes. And suppose here we have a, a no. In ID three here we have a no and then null and then yes. Then what actually we want? We want the output as a, a no. So this is the question want. means whatever the first not null value that output actually we want to get. So for that we have to create a new column and there whatever the output right that we have to store. So let's try to solve one by one. So first question is like we have to flatten our data. So this is the data and the schema. Let's create a data frame first. So df equal to the spark dot create data frame. I'll pass the data as well as the schema. And after that, what I will do, I will do df dot so to show you the data. So you can see this is the data I have. I have a customer ID and the product purchase in the array form. We are getting a data. Now we have to flatten it. So for flattening, what actually we can use? We can use the explode function, which is available. So for that, first we have to import a library. So how actually we can import a library from PySpark dot SQL dot function. import star if we'll do import star it will import all the library so what actually we are going to do now we are going to apply the explode function so what i will do df dot with column we are going to create a new column okay so i will give the name as a df dot with column the column name is uh, product and here what i will apply i'll use a explode function explode and on which particular column you want to apply a explode this product purchase right here only I want to apply a explode. So if I'll do this and after that if I'll do dot so let's see. So what we are doing we are creating a new column name as a product and we are applying a explode. Now if I'll execute this now you you can see we have a product and we are getting a multiple output like this uh, mobile right so we are getting a mobile then pc we are getting then the tab we are getting and after that also you can select so if you write dot select we want a customer id id as well as the only the product output we want right so i will write the product now if i execute you can see uh, whatever the in array form we were getting a data right now it got converted into the multiple row so that is the first question now second question is like here or uh, we have given a data here we have to find out the first not null value so suppose here if the value is no then we want the output as a no let's first create a data frame so i'll create a data frame df1 spark dot create a data frame we'll pass the data as well as the schema 
and after that if i'll do df1 dot so let me show you the data so you can see uh, we have a customer id he is using a device using one device using two device using three what is the output we want we want the output first not null value in this case what is the uh, first not null value for id one we have a yes for id two what is the first not null value this is null so we want the output yes because this that is a valid value right now in id customer id three so what is the first not null value that is a no then we want the output no we have a yes also but whatever the first not null value that is the output we want so how actually we can solve that so in this case we can use a colis function so how actually we can use so i will create a new column name as a with column and i will give the name as a new you can give any name and here we are going to apply a colis colis and here we will pass the all the column so i will pass the column device uh, this one device using one comma call device using two comma col and the device using three so in this three column whatever the first not null value that actually that actually we want the output so for that i am using a colis function and here i am passing all the thing now if i'll do dot so now let's see the output you can see for customer id 1 uh, the first not null value is a yes right so we are getting output yes for uh, customer id 2 what is the first not null value it is a yes right so we are getting a yes for uh, customer id 3 what is the first not null value no then we are getting a output no so like that actually we have to solve i hope you got the idea that's it and you sir thanks